City Council meeting will come to artists, regular council agenda, Tuesday, November 6, 2007. We have the invocation. Uh, <coughs> okay, by Mr. Smith, and I was pledged by Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Our heads, our Heavenly Father, we come before you this afternoon. We want you to continue to bless us and keep us, lead and guide us in this world. Again, we want to thank you for being so good, being so kind. Thank you for walking with us today. Thank you for our help and strength. Our Heavenly Father, we want to bless this city, uh, bless this state. Our Heavenly Father, give us the wisdom and power to carry on this meeting the way that you see fit. These blessings and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Man, you ought to be saying this. Man, you ought to be saying this. We're, we're, we're going to D uh, roll call, Mr. Still. Mr. Marshall. Present. Mr. Fowler. Here. Mr. Johnson. Present. Mr. Lawson. Mr. Silver. Mr. Smith. Here. Mr. Hobbs. Here. Mr. Okay. President, you have a <clears throat> Okay, we're going to eat the consent calendar. Uh, seven to legal. Uh, in, uh, that's in five to legal, too. I so move. Second. Move by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Uh, Lawson. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Let's go to F, ordinance for final adoption, subject to public hearing. <coughs> Number 20, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to accept the levy submitted for spun, pre-stressed wood pole equivalent concrete poles for the electric distribution department. Move. Move by Mr. Fowler, second by Mr. Johnson. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, motion carries. Number 21, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to accept the low bid submitted for McDonald Street drainage improvements, phase three. Move. Move by Mr. Lawson, second by Mr. Smith. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, motion carries. Mr. President, item number 22 uh, needs to be delayed for two weeks. Number okay. 23. To consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to accept the low bid submitted for wire and cable for the electric distribution department. Move. Move by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Fowler. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Number 24, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to accept the low bid submitted for mobile fuel trailers for the water department. Move. Second. Move by Mr. Fowler, second by Mr. Smith. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Number 25, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing acceptance of a 20-foot wide drainage and utility servitude located adjacent to Tennyson Oaks subdivision on property owned by Bellina Farms. Move by Mr. File, second by Mr. Johnson. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed, motion carried. Number 26, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing acceptance of a 15-foot wide utility servitude located in lot 2 of Metroplex subdivision phase 1. Move. Second. Move by Mr. Fowler, second by Mr. Smith. Discussion. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Number 27, to consider final <coughs> adoption of an ordinance authorizing acceptance of the dedication by white development of an electrical servitude located in a 1.7 63 acre track of land situated at the intersection of Jackson Street Extension and Elizabeth Street. Sorry. Move by Ms. Lawson, second by Mr. Fowler. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Number 28, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute a perpetual rental and electric service agreement with Silver Leaf Estate Subdivision to be supplied with street lights in accordance with section 26-84L. Move. Move. Move by Mr. Uh, Fowler, second by Mr. Silver. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Number 29, to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute a perpetual rental and electric service agreement with Pin Oak Crossing Subdivision to be supplied with streetlights in accordance with section 26-84L. Move. 
Second. Well, Mr. Files, second by Mr. Smith. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, who was uh, low bid on 21 McDonald Street? <coughs> KDC Construction Company. Who is that? KDC. KDC. Uh huh. I'm not sure where they're from. James. Mr. Brand. Is that the same one had the contract? KDC? Which one is that? Oh, McDonald. McDonald. Yes. Okay, I'll come through. Uh, okay, number 30 to consider final adoption of an ordinance authorizing acceptance of the subdivision plat for younger commercial park lots one and two. Move. Second. Move by Ms. Files, second by Mr. Johnson. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> Number 31, to consider final adoption of an ordinance amending Article 3, Section 10-35 through Section 10-43 of the Alexandria City Code pertaining to the Small and Emerging Business Development Program. Move. Second. Move by Ms. Files, second by Mr. Smith. Discussion. We have amendments. We have an amendment to that West Street. several <coughs> amendments. I move on the amendments as uh, recommended by the Okay, moved by Mr. Lawson, second by Mr. Fowler on the amendments. Okay. Okay, you care to, uh, discuss That's on the, uh, the amendments on that. We're can moving on the Your on first vote will be on the amendments as read. I can reread them or no, you can no, wait no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 first vote would be on the amendments as a with the mayor's two technical well, amendments. Ain't drowned in water. Yeah, that was <laughs> uh, All right. After you vote on the on the <laughs> committee recommendations, then you would vote on the bill. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Motion passed for the amendment. Okay. Okay. Now your original. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Amended. As amended. Yes. All in favor? Aye. All in favor. Aye. Okay. Aye. Motion carries. Okay. okay. We'll go to G. Commit. Uh, to me and, uh, <coughs> Mr. President, this is an ambitious program, administration. This is uh, all of us working on this. Uh, I think it's as objective as you can be. Well, I think it's going to be beneficial for the community. I thought it did a good job. It's a great job. Thank you. Ms. Jennings also wrote on it. Well, she did uh, bring the documents to the world. She did a great job. And the administration is required to do And she's going to be working on the implementation of uh, okay. starting in the morning. Did he do that correctly? Bud. Bud did a tremendously good job. Thank you, Bud. Okay, we go to <coughs> G committees. Finance committee, Mr. Lawson. No report. Public Works committee, Mr. Silver. Sam. This is a request the council authorize the mayor to enter a cooperative endeavor agreement with Berlina Farms for the relocation of electric utility facilities necessary to, car to accommodate the co construction of Tennyson Oaks subdivision phases eight and nine. Move. Move the induction. Is that the one we uh, did? We just act yeah, on this we just, earlier. One. That's what I was trying to we see. We did that. We've done that. Well, no, but you got to do it for the full council. Oh, oh hell! No, no, we we, we did one and uh, uh, no, we did one in here. Now I believe this is a different. This is different. Yeah. This is the uh, cooperative yeah, endeavor right. agreement. The other one is a. Um, Capital budget for McDonald's Street and drainage. This will amend the 2007-2008 capital budget, adding funds for the McDonald's Street and drainage project in order to await the bid, award the bid. So move, sir. And this goes, all we have. goes back to Public Works. Mr. Uh, Silver, you have another item. <coughs> I, mean, I thought we finished this. Oh my God. Please make it through this meeting. <laughs> Only one violation so far. I think I've done well. <laughs> it's been going on all day. <laughs> and the nice thing about it, we're still talking. We're not communicating, but we're talking. 
This is an ordinance rezoning property located on Versailles Boulevard across from uh, Calais Circle from um, C2 to a planned development of multi-parking and mixed-use commercial areas described in the village of a Versailles master site plan requested by the property owners. This is uh, an ordinance. Ordinance. That's an ordinance. Rezoning, you got to read it. <laughs> There's no rezoning necessary. Okay, move and second. Okay. Okay. That's, That's enough. Good. And there was no so, a notation too. They were checking on uh, the the deal concerning the DOT, the incorporated, to make sure they co uh, correspond to dictates the example <laughs> by Mr. Branch. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Jones. Wait one second. We didn't do anything wrong. We're just making sure we don't make any mistakes. Pretty easy here. Legal, <laughs> Commit <laughs> Legal committee, Mr. Smith. Oh, I wish you got a stack of them. Okay, uh, it's this is the introduction of the audience authorizing the mayor to enter into a residential lease with Myron A. French for the the use of uh, five parking space located behind 610 Murray Street in Block 45 of the original plat of the city of Alexander. Please Move for Harry and not Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Move. All right. Move for reduction. All right. Another one is the ordinance authorizing the, the mayor to enter into a corporate endeavor agreement with the Alexandria Weed and Seed Area uh, for Stirring Committee. Oops. It's another artist authorizing the mayor to enter into a professional service agreement with Ch Charlie Allison to be the weed and seed program coordinator. Sir. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is another honest authorizing the local oh, share, call Sharon uh, share Alexander to the Gulf of Mexico flood study. Huh? I need a motion. I go to find out. <coughs> I'm going to read that. I mean, it's kind of. Yeah, I need a motion and a second on it. Yeah. Second. I'm going to Louis Sigma, too. Okay. Oh. You want to send it to finance? Yeah. Now the explanation you, you want to, this explanation here is will amend the 2007 capital budget adding funds for the study of the Chatham Lake Canal and the outfall there from. Huh? Uh, motion. Do we need to reword? Oh, okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think so. Do we have anything else? Seven. Utility Committee, Mr. Fallon. No report. Community Development, Mr. Marshall. No report. Personnel, Mr. Johnson. No report. Public Safety, Mr. Marshall. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I have an ordinance authorizing the mayor to a contract agreement with the Fire Union Local 540. Move. Try come out here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he probably made a good look at the time. Okay, and on this, <coughs> and on this authorizing mayor into a, a written cooperative endeavor agreement with the Rappi Symphony Orchestra for the production of an interdenominational prayer service offering 
musical selections recognizing the city's religious history. Move. Did you say take up all? For council. Council. Oh, and here's a resolution authorizing the Division of Community Services to submit to the Louisiana Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism an application for event sponsorship of the 2008 Barbecue Festival Q and on the Red to be held March 14th and 15th, 2008. Second. Move. Second. Move by Mr. Fowler, second by uh, Mr. Smith. Are you planning an uh, official kickoff? The reason I'm saying that the sponsors, of course, as they're working on their budgets on the calendar year, uh, are probably trying to do that uh, as we speak. Uh, I didn't know if we were going to do a kickoff uh, a little bit earlier. Well, before we actually announce the, um, the dates or doing a, an actual kickoff, I already contact the sponsors. The ones that we've had, I already made contact with them to, to work us into their budget for the upcoming year. Okay, well, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Keep it out there, please. Keep it all in favor? Aye. Both motion carries. <coughs> Did you? Now you need review, Mr. Fowler. No report. Economic development, Mr. Lawson. Yeah. What about those two you had, Chuck? Not exactly. We've already adopted them. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We did the meeting this yeah. morning. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh. We have uh, three persons. Uh, Mr. Wayne Jenkins. Mr. Wayne Jenkins, come to the mic. <clears throat> I'm representing Louisiana Baptist Convention. We have uh, asked for variance on the use of a lot on Bolton Avenue about two months ago. Reverend Charles Veal had asked about the use of the lot. According to his understanding, we had use of the lot as a part of a semi celebration, family fun days this weekend. Uh, we've got about seven events that are taking place uh, uh, all over the area, but this was one of them, and it's down on Bolton Street. It was a block party that's planned for about a thousand people. We've got people coming in from outside and, and uh, got everything planned, but we understood that we had use of the lot, found out about two weeks ago we did not have use of the lot uh, proper. Uh, channels had not gone through, and so then I, I talked to uh, the attorney, city attorney. Uh, they faxed me over the forms. I filled out the forms, sent them back in, and now uh, he called me yesterday and told me we had to have 30 days in advance. Well, we didn't know about the 30 days, and uh, it's one of those things that just a problem that uh, developed because a person thought that they had done the right thing, had not done the right thing, and we had not gone through the proper channels. But we need the use of the lot right there uh, in order to have this event. Uh, we've got one down at uh, on Lower Third. We've got one in Pineville, one in uh, on the other side of, of actually the other side uh, close to the Louisiana Baptist Convention building. We've got uh, a bull riding event, we've got motocross events, and we've got a Veterans Day events all taking place this weekend. But that was the one that we had there that uh, uh, now we don't have a lot. We've done all the publicity and everything thinking we had it. Do we have a remedy? I think we can make a special. Can we do a special? We're not authorized to do, only this body can do the variation. And I think the city attorney and I were just talking about it. We were concerned. We still need to have the regular building agreement done because somebody has to be responsible for something that large. Normally we'd have a cooperative endeavor or we wouldn't have had time to have entered into it, I think is what happened. Uh, we're recommending a variance, if, but this body is the only body that can. I so move. I second. Okay, have you used that area second. before? No. no, we haven't used that particular no, area before. That's the first time. Yeah. <clears throat> no, and it's, and it's a free event. You know, it's food and I had a meeting with them today. They're going to be at um, Harry says only one, one caveat is he gets to ride the bull for free. As long as they're willing to sign. And we'll they pay for him to they ride. They have to sign the, the regular bond them. requirements just like anybody else if there's one, and they have to sign the regular agreement saying they're responsible 
uh, for the event as long as they're willing to sign that now uh, it, you can you can uh, uh, I guess you wave can do it. the variance and waive it and they otherwise meet all of our requirements to do a cooperative endeavor they just don't have it in place I would recommend in the time we frame. incorporate those in there then and then and, and, and then you come by tomorrow morning and sign it and if you can furnish whatever is necessary it'll be okay all right. What, what do I need to come by and sign tomorrow? Do, do you, uh, you, you talking about the bond, man? I don't think yeah. it, it, it. You have to have it as yeah, it is. Yeah, I would suggest you come here tomorrow morning. I'll have it drafted and you, you get, do what has to be done. Uh, well, look, no, I, I want to make a no motion problem. that that we grant we grant the variance, you know, for for them to use the lot. And I think that's incorrect. That's our lot. We're talking about the same one over on Broadway. You got every church it's, in town. It's a lot, lot right across from Community you got Center that's owned by the city. They're going to be in Franco Hunter. I, I met with them one time. We're every, they, they're everywhere. They got kids, the children. They got just about every church, and there's a diverse group from all over town. I'm not criticizing we the parents. We don't have any problem. We just I didn't follow the... the yeah, I understand. Don't do the variance. We can make it happen. Well, we can follow the question. Okay, all the favor. <laughs> Motion carries. I try to need to see you tomorrow. Uh -huh. And they'll they make it. <laughs> Next one. Kill him, you deep. Bring him up, bastard. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring I just had a little concern that I want to bring uh, before the administrative body. Uh, on next week, there will be two public hearings from the uh, city's community development department related to uh, proposed uh, block grants. One is for uh, one of the hearings is Lower Third at Broadway Resort Center. And I think one on the 15th is at the public safety um, complex. My concern is that the avenue that the uh, advertisement for the hearing is not reaching the targeted area. That if we could take in consideration some other means that we could utilize, you know, to reach the people because like I said, the you know, the readership for the town talk, I mean if I didn't read it, I wouldn't have known that they were gonna be having um, the public hearing uh, in the area. So that brings me back to the main question is uh, what is the status of the government access channel that we've been having all these things that need to be on it or if we could use the reverse 911 system for the people that are in the target areas to give us, to give them the information to allow them to come out and know about the meeting, because like I said, even though the newspaper uh, is the official it's journal for the city, the readership for the people that yeah. it's intended for is not going to be, be there. Mr. Bright, uh, the clerk just, just alluded to me that they, did, they do have the information and they will, they will be on channel four. They just got the information and they will put it on channel four. Uh, do you know when? Because the meeting is, is Monday at 6 o'clock, which is, which is Veterans Day. So but it was in the paper last week, so we'll we had to we'll we'll get it. At least by tomorrow, we'll give it. She makes an interesting yeah. point, as Bright does, on the yeah. reverse 911. Chuck and I were talking today, he used it for one of his community meetings. I think it would be beneficial if we could target an area. I don't know how ambitious it is to do it at that time, but uh, we could do the reverse 911. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to go and do it. <laughs> You didn't do that yourself, Chuck? Uh, I, I could talk on the phone, but I could. <laughs> it took a lot of programming. It, 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 but no, it's not a hard thing to do. I don't think they're going to start just letting you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fun. Where's yeah. 911? Yeah. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. <laughs> just need to get some uh, citizen. Maybe Miss Brighton might want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking about the 911. You mean the reverse 911? You know, we, we could get a citizen to do it, to go down to the police department to do it. <coughs> and I'm just volunteering you if you want to do it. I guess I have to get a citizen to go down to the police department to do it. Roll on. Okay, okay who else we have? Mr. Mike Redmond. Mr. Redmond. It's Mike Redmond. 
Mr. Chairman, last week you brought up the uh, intention of building another walkway along Bayou Rapids. I feel that it's a waste of money. I know that a lot of people think that there's a lot of fishermen down there, but I don't feel that there is, just like the walking trail. We put all that money into the walking trail and nobody uses it. The upkeep, the tax dollars, when you got a lot of people could use home with, uh, habitat for humanity and money to get, go to them or to one of your uh, skateboard. Take a piece of our property and build a skateboard property on it. If you want to do something that the people will use, I beg to differ with you, Mr. Redden. All right. And the people in my district, I guarantee you, you can go down just about any day and find somebody fishing along that pier and along the Bayou Rapids. Go down in front of the Pentecostal church mm -hmm. and you will find people out there fishing along that trail. Because you may not go there, that doesn't mean that the people over there in that neighborhood don't need it. I go across those bridges every day and I never see anybody well, down there. Well, maybe you're not looking. Maybe I you're just tunnel vision. Well, Mr. Redmond, I beg to differ with you. Okay. But and I, I, I feel that the people in my district need to have some form of recreation just like you want to keep the water out of your yard over on Elizabeth Street, the people in my district also need some improvements in how, their district. How much money is it going to cost us to build that? Well, that it's not for such a few. What do you mean such a few? Such a few fish. Because, because they, they, aren't, they don't live in an affluent neighborhood? I'm not saying anything like that. I'm saying... Yes, that's what you're saying because these people over there deserve the same benefits and the same... They have place to fish down there. Sir, I am not talking that. about uh, affluent or poor. You take your walking trail downtown. Nobody yeah. uses that trail. How much money have we spent on it to build it, and then nobody use it, and plus the upkeep? Yeah, that was a state. That was done with that state, was a state, state, state project. money. That's it still was not done with dollars. city dollars. It it's was still not hard. done. But Mr. Redman, I beg to differ with you All on right. the Bayou Rapids Trail. Now, if that's if that's what you feel, those are your feelings. This is a freedom of speech, right. and this is the country that's free. But I refuse to accept your comments about the people in my district that live in the All Mill Quarters and the Enterprise Edition. I refuse to accept that. Well, you can refuse it. This is good. But I'm trying to get what the rest of the people feel like. The rest of these business community do feel like. Well, those people put me in office. You didn't. That's they had three minutes. Where is that any time, by the way? I ain't too good there. That's it. I have a, little, I have a okay, slightly I a different motion. spin on this whole thing. If and when we get the hotel opened, when the downtown area is reworked, when the whole infrastructure is, translates into accomplishment, that will be used, the, that other area will be used, the Red River thing will be used, everything's going to be great. I just want you to live that long to see it happen. <laughs> I'm going to be a journey.